following on the story of Sylvie's wish, when all the mer teams find Father T Father Time's cave. Enjoy. Father Time smiled, and he was impressed with the mermaid's intuitive sense of direction. Well, you have found me, young mermaid. Well done. You were right to follow your feelings and your senses. Father Time had not laughed so much in so many years. Father Time is ready for choral school. He was ready to start choral school. Now, my dear Mer pupils and cetaceans, each of you will have varied knowledge of the oceans, seas, rivers, and all water systems on this planet. <clears throat> he cleared his throat and continued. The ocean is where life began. Almost four billion years ago, there evolved single-celled algae. These were the basis of life, as we know it in today's oceans. I am happy to hear that the mermaid of infinity has told you of the origin of our mer people from the ancient seas of our beautiful moon. For this time with me at Coral School, you will be learning briefly lessons on subjects I have chosen that I feel are the most important for you to know. He began to speak with compassion in his voice. My dear mer pupils, sea creatures, I know it is awful the human pollution, destruction, and human thinking has created conflict as a theme song for the oceans. Please remember, it's part of our mission to transform this dangerous word, conflict, to a better word, caring. There is hope for all of us if we work towards caring for each other. I want you to know and understand not all humans are out to destroy the world's oceans, the lands, animals and nature's beauty. Many humans have simply lost touch with the magic. We can help them relearn. Mermaid Coral Conscious Gifts from Father Time Mer Sylvie was very pleased to hear Father Time say kind words about some of the humans that do care in the above world. Father Time turned his attention to the mermaids. My dear mermaids, your coral conscious are gifts for your arrival today on your seashell beds. You can listen to the magical sounds the ocean wants to share with you, all her science, sports, ocean knowledge, even her beauty tips, all kinds of music, funny and happy movies. This conch is your private comfort for when whatever you need it to be. Listen and be happy, sweet mermaids. Father Time enjoyed seeing the mermaids' smiling faces. He looked to the mermen, who wondered, had he anything to give to them? Mermen, I have not forgotten you. Each of you has a mystical rug by your seabed keeping you up to date with your favorite sports, music, dance shows, action movies, games, or science. This whelk will be like your companion, like your shared cetacean with your chosen mermaid. These incredible whelks will comfort and guide your strong tail in decision making. Mer lesson on whales and dolphins. Each week, the mer pupils had one whole day for play and one whole day for rest. After learning everything you possibly could about water, the next mer lesson was to be on whales and dolphins. This made the cetaceans in the water classroom become extremely enthusiastic. It was finally their turn to hear their story and learn their cetacean history. The commentary began. This is where we need David Attenborough. <laughs> the whale is the largest animal that has ever lived. Certain whales are much bigger than elephants or prehistoric dinosaurs. 
The largest whale on planet ocean is the blue whale. When Big Blue Percy heard this, he smiled proudly and was patted on his back by his mirror team. The commentary had rare ocean footage by expert mermen and mermaids in the ocean film world. These whales may grow up to 95 feet long and can weigh 150 tons. Whales are mammals much like dogs and horses, even human beings, but they are not fish. Whales breathe through their lungs and must hold their breath when they go into water. Sadly, man has hunted whales for thousands of years. In the early days of whale hunting, men would dare to hunt these magnificent mammals, venturing out in small boats, harpooning them with their bare hands. Many of the deaths of the whales were slow and extremely painful. Whales have been used for many human uses, such as whale oil, whale meat, and ground into meal for feeding animals and as land fertilizer. The images on the screen made all the mer pupils and the mammals cry. It was horribly sad to watch the many ways whales, dolphins, sea turtles, and even sharks were killed by fishing nets, boats, and water pollution. Some cetacean species are extinct, are on the brink of extinction. Thankfully, whale experts in the human world are slowly getting their messages through to all humans, reminding them that these mammals are extremely precious to man. That's all for now. I'll continue on a little bit and be introducing you to John Dory because he's about to tell his fish history. Love to you on your journey, Karina Cohen.